When it comes to writing your own vows, does this sound like you? I can't express myself very well. Or I'm no good at writing. Maybe I'd be too embarrassed to say them in front of everyone. Or what's the point in sharing them with everyone? My fiance already knows how I feel and it's no one else's business anyway. Maybe it's your fiance that has said these things to you, as in you want to write them, but they're not as keen. Then this episode is for you, or you could send it to them. In the last six or so years in particular, I've noticed a shift and an increase in the proportion of engaged couples that I conduct marriage ceremonies for as a celebrant who choose to write their own wedding vows. It used to be something that perhaps was reserved for more the creative, outgoing or extroverted couples and maybe not so much for the quieter ceremonies with smaller guest numbers, you know, a little bit more intimate or reserved couples in particular. They tended, and this is all, you know, big generalisation, but they tended to go for the traditional, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. But something has definitely changed. And I couldn't tell you if it's been the influence of sharing on social media. You know, we share a lot on social media, a lot more, I think, than we have in the past. It could be the availability of more examples online. You know, you do a quick Google search, you're going, how do I write my own vows? And stuff comes up, ideas come up. It might be the increase in wedding videographers being booked and those videos being shared more extensively or the impact of COVID that has perhaps sharpened people's focus on what matters and what really lasts beyond your wedding day itself. But I can tell you, writing your own personalised vows is more popular than ever. And as someone who's conducted almost 1,000 wedding ceremonies, so this means I've either listened to them, I've helped couples to write them, or I wrote them myself, like I wrote them on behalf of my couples, that's a lot of vows. And I'm always more than thrilled to help engaged couples and show them a simple way to write their very own unique and meaningful wedding vows. And there are several reasons why I'm so passionate about this, which I'd love to share with you today. It can be all too easy now to copy something generic from a Google search result or a chat GPT prompt. You could just use traditional vows, generic promises, or worst still, vows that are dead set cringe from start to finish. But it's the personal, unique vows that no one else in the world could make but you that have so much power value, intention and emotion and that are in fact an investment into your relationship. Because what I'd love for you to realise from this episode is the amazing opportunity you have with your vows and to actually be excited to write them for four very good reasons. You, you know, selfishly, it's good for you, for your fiancé. You love them, right? You want to give this gift to them for your marriage, your future, and for your family and friends too, those that are there at your wedding ceremony listening. And I also want to share with you the biggest secret of all when it comes to personalized vows that's going to make it so much easier and remove what some people think of as writer's or creative block for you to write your very own vows and be proud to say them too. Let's get stuck into it. Unbridely is a community of pro wedding vendors who believe in freedom and integrity in weddings, giving you options, solutions, tips and tricks to create the experience and memories that you and your fiancé really want and deserve. Because we believe that weddings are a team sport. With how-tos, stories and interviews with recently married couples, we find out what went right and what they'd change if they could go back and do it all over again. I'm Camille and welcome to the Unbridly podcast. A lot of people, and as much as I hate stereotypes, it's often the guys. They ask me, Camille, do I have to write my own vows? 
as if I'm making them or they're making some sort of big sacrifice or they're a bit of a chore. And I get it. Some people are not as comfortable in sharing their feelings in front of others or they have difficulty in putting them into words. Maybe it feels like a bit of an assignment and there's also the pressure to make them sound a certain way because these words will be heard by and perhaps in your mind judged by others. But there are a couple of different approaches that can help you with those perceived limitations and I go into them in more detail in episode 16 of the Unbridly podcast, How to Write Vows That Really Wow in 20 Minutes. So if you haven't already, please make sure you go and have a listen to that episode 16 after what I'm about to tell you. Because I'm hoping to motivate the shit out of you first, and then you go and write your vows all fired up second. So then the very next question, quite understandably, is why does this matter anyway? And there are lots of different schools of thought on why writing your wedding vows rather than reciting traditional ones holds immense significance. Starting with the fact that personalized vows let you express your unique love story, you know, what's happened since the moment you heard that each other existed, how you got together. When you realize that you share something amazing, your own personal and relevant promises to your partner. By infusing your own words, your memories and sentiments into your vows, you create a deeply personal and meaningful connection that reflects the very essence of your relationship, no one else's. Simply because traditional vows might lack personal relevance and emotional depth for you. Writing your own vows lets you speak from your heart sharing your genuine feelings and intentions in a way that resonates authentically with both you, you feel good about saying it because you truly believe it, and your partner listening to it, perhaps rather than rolling their eyes because it is something saccharine sweet or something really over the top that you just wouldn't say to each other in normal life. You need vows that sound like you. Writing your vows and saying your personal vows also creates a bonding experience. So collaborating with your fiancé, and this is whether you see, read, or hear your vows before your ceremony, I mean, that's completely up to you. But for you both to write your vows can be a deeply bonding experience. It gives you an opportunity for reflection, for communication, and shared decision-making, which is It's a strengthening of your connection to each other and a deepening of your understanding of each other. Personal vows are also memorable and emotional. They have the power to evoke, to bring up really strong emotions and create lasting memories for both you and your fiancé, obviously, but your guests as well. Because sharing your heartfelt promises and declarations in your own words adds an emotional depth and intimacy to your ceremony that can be truly unforgettable. If you want to ask some of your friends, which wedding ceremonies do you remember? What do you remember of them? I can almost guarantee the things that stand out the most are those that are individual to the couple. And nine times out of 10, that comes from vows. Because personalized vows honor you and your fiance's individuality. And each person brings their own unique qualities, your quirks, your history. What have you been up to together and your experiences? Writing your own vows lets you recognize and celebrate these individual traits, all the things that make you, you. So affirming your love and appreciation for your partner as they are. Because this means that effectively you're saying to them by writing unique vows by speaking how you speak, you're saying to them, I accept you and everything that comes with you without the need to change or fix you, which is unbelievably moving and powerful and unforgettable. You still haven't written your vows yet, have you? Let me help. 
In around 20 minutes or so, you can easily write personalised wedding vows unlike anything you've heard before that will make your fiancé feel like the most loved, understood and appreciated person on the planet. The how to write wedding vows that don't suck. (laughs) Instant download 17-page PDF ebook walks you through a step-by-step format for your vows how to find the right words and phrases to describe your feelings and your fiancé, how to write that crucial first draft and create your final wedding vows masterpiece. So if you don't know how or even where to start, if you've been Googling your little heart out, or if you've been calling them wedding vows, A-E-I-O-U, this ebook is for you. Included in there are also some bonus secrets for getting the most out of your wedding ceremony. So make sure you download your copy right now and get Write Your Wedding Vows crossed off your to-do list today. The link is in the show notes. Your vows can be a guide and a reminder of how you intend to treat your future spouse. So your vows can become more than just words exchanged during your ceremony. They become symbols of your commitment, your love, and your shared vision for your future and your married life together. Crafting your own vows allows you to imbue them with significance and meaning that reflects the essence of your relationship now and what you want to happen in the future. Vows can form the foundation of what you want your marriage to be about in the first place. They reflect your relationship. And they reflect you as individuals. So all your qualities, all your quirks, this is what your vows symbolize. Writing your own vows can also make you feel more connected and committed to each other. So by sharing your promises and your dreams for the future, you can strengthen your bond and create a deeper sense of trust and understanding. And personalized vows also provide an opportunity for you and your fiancé to share your love story with your family and friends, which can make your ceremony more intimate, more emotional and valuable for everyone involved. As I hinted at before, it's a gift for you, for your fiancé and for your wedding ceremony guests as well. And on top of all of this, you have the opportunity to make your fiancé feel absolutely amazing and more loved and understood than they have ever before in their entire life. It's a good thing. It's a bloody good thing. Okay, now this is it. This is the crux of it all, and it's the biggest vow secret. Are you ready? Your vows are already perfect, which doesn't make any sense, right? I want you to understand this right from the very start, that because your wedding vows are the ultimate expression of you, of your fiancé, and your relationship, and you're going to be using your voice, both how you say and express things and your physical voice, your sense of humour, your energy and your indelible personality, this means that literally there is no one else on this entire planet who can do it as well as you. So whether you've already written a few bullet points or your ideas are just stuck in your head, they are already perfect. And this, I believe, is why you want to make sure what you say in your wedding vows is what you mean and that they're not the stock standard traditional promises from hundreds of years ago, a carbon copy of someone else's or AI generated. You want to truly own them. You're expressing your love and commitment in your own unique way. So your personality, your feelings, your beliefs. And it's also important to say it in your own freaking words. Now, I absolutely understand this can be a lot of pressure. But believe me when I say you can't do it wrong. So if you're sitting there thinking, I can't express what I feel into the right words. Or I feel self-conscious about sharing my feelings. Perhaps I don't know how to make my vows sound good to others. I want you to take this truth away with you. There is no one who can do this 
better and more appropriately with more relevance than you and getting them done in whatever form that may be for you is better than being stuck on a piece of paper, than just being random thoughts in your head, a few notes on your phone, get them done, get them out there, just get it all out. Because trying your best with what you've got is as close to perfect as you're going to get. So don't let perfectionism scare you away from this amazing opportunity to delve a little deeper and love a little more, because this is what life is all about. And if you allow yourself a little extra time to write these vows, to use a cooking metaphor, you want to allow your vows to marinate. So they're a little richer and a little tastier. It's corny, but it's true. You know, to think about them a bit more, to get some tips and guidance, maybe from someone like me. You can definitely brush up on your skills. Just don't leave it to the last minute, please. Writing your own wedding vows can transform a traditional ceremony into a deeply personal and meaningful expression of your love, commitment, and shared journey together. They are a profound way to celebrate the unique bond between you and your partner, and you can create new memories that will last a lifetime. And if you ever want to, you know, get in touch, send me a message, ask a question, you can DM me at unbridly on Instagram, and I'll catch you next week. That about wraps it up for this episode of the Unbridly podcast. For the links and resources we mentioned, please head to the show notes. And if you love the show, please review and subscribe on the podcast platform you're on now so you don't miss out on a single episode. Thanks so much for listening. And remember, weddings are a team sport. Catch you soon.